this day and we'll be talking actually how to use them the first one is the rainbow flick so in order to do this you just have to swipe up on the right screen top right screen swipe up as indicated here just swipe up the rainbow flick in order to do it just swipe up here as you can see so uh, here's the rainbow flick it's great on head one v one when approaching uh, players as, as, as you have just seen here then you play it back so even when your players run you can just do it oh and actually passes the opponent just like that so it's just one of those skills it actually works on one v one situations and here oh this is where it actually shines for me even when your players come it's standing there and just wrap up it actually works and actually for cutting in as you can see it just cut in and actually for crosses as well as you see here i will show you just in a while okay look where the rainbow stick actually shines guys swiping up press the c button and bam that's the cross go this is one of the uses of this is where i usually use the rainbow stick a lot when i'm running away from my opponent and he's about to catch me and just use the rainbow flick and actually combine it with the cross and it, it, it just appears to be beautiful let me just show it to you so in this moment as the player approaches i decide to swipe up and then i press the cross button and the player actually combines the both of them and actually crosses and that the end opening doesn't get the ball so it's actually one of the uh, of the best uses of the rainbow flick so if you don't use it for these kind of things i think you should start doing so guys as you can see same here actually got tackled to use the rainbow flick that's really good for jumping the player but you should be <coughs> careful though because this can happen so the rainbow flick isn't uh, the type of skill where you can, you can just perform you actually have to check whether there's a player in front of you because this can happen get tackled immediately before actually having control of the ball the second skill i want to show you is the roulette uh, to this you just have to swipe down in the rainbow split guys we were swiping up now we know it's the reverse so i'm actually swiping down but still on the right uh screen on the right side of your screen swipe down swipe down swipe down okay so uh, this is the roulette guys there are actually two types of the roulettes there's this one where the player just spins and uh, there's the first one and the slow one what i'm saying fast and slow i don't mean uh, the actual one is actually faster than the other but take a look at this one as you can see the player just spins around this one is different from the one i showed you earlier look at this one it actually spins okay and this is the first one and you see as the first one actually pushes the ball forward it's great for when you're about to finish and the slow one is great for when you the opponent is coming to you like straight at you just like here straight okay as you can see there's a different that 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 the two are different there's the first one pushing the ball forward and actually shooting i will show it to you this is the rule gate guys again the, the, the last one is the faint step over to do this you actually have to swipe still on the right side of your screen but you have to swipe sideways whether you swipe to the left or whether you swipe to the right is to look here as long as you swipe sideways whether it's left or it's right it actually works and this one is great for creating space just take a look at here i do it i just pass two players i do it pass the third for tackle okay i'm still going i do it creating space and look at that you can just see how much space I created when I, I actually created this goal. So just take a look here. Create space. 
and then the two pounds and emerge and Alan just did this thing in clear mm -hmm. it's actually great for creating space guys okay do it wait for it wait for it do it actually pushes the ball forward so it actually gives your player a lot of room to actually make those runs up the field as you can see here Here's the fence tape over. This is actually the end of the video, guys. So, uh, if what I've just seen was helpful, please subscribe now.